to a Christmas special on the pre-wrapped baits with me, Salt Bats. So today we're going to be making some pre-wraps, some squid, some bluey uh, for the beach fishing in the winter. So I've become very lazy in my fishing these days and uh, I'm sure like most of us, we get to the beach, we chuck a load of baits uh, on, the, uh, on the shingle or the sand, get them cut up, uh, and, and then wrap them on the beach, right? So that's normally what you do. Um, I've, I found recently, or in the last few months, it's very wasteful. I end up throwing a lot of bait away, it goes off, especially in the summer, it's no good, right? So I, I'm going to adopt, I'm the, I've adopted a new strategy. So I'm gonna pre-make them here at the house, uh, and then only take five or six with me. Take a little bit of extra bait just in case, you never know. But this way, I feel it's gonna save a lot of time and bait. Let's get into it. All right. <laughs> Things you are going to need before starting. Most importantly, a strong coffee, a knot puller, that's optional, a pair of scissors, some trace wire, I'm using Amnesia, £40, some hooks, and something to cut the fish on my old piece of wood chopping board and most importantly a sharp knife debatable whether this is sharp Otherwise, also because i'm doing this on the uh, table in the lounge probably a wise idea to put some cling food down or a bin bag or some plastic, like you can see. Um, you probably don't want to get fish guts all over the lounge table or dining room table, so always a wise choice. Real simple hook length. I've got a 80 Manta Extra on the bottom and a 60 Koiki Circle on the top of using 40 pound amnesia crystal. It's pretty much my preferred hook length um, trace wire, trace line. So what we're gonna do, as you can see here, real simple wrap that I like to use quite often. Good for pretty much most types of fishing in the winter is a bluey and a squid. A bit frosty at the moment. So all I'm gonna do is literally take the head off, keep that for another day, take the tail off, keep that, well I won't that's going in the bin. Um, fillet. As I say, you probably wanna get a sharper knife than me because I'm practically using a spoon to cut this. That's why it's not going particularly well, but as I say, fish don't really know about presentation. It's more about the angler. So one strip of blue, take the head of the squid off, and half a squiddy. Well, in fact, it's not half. You put a slip down there, take the gas out. Some people like to use it. I, I, to be honest, whole squids are good, but we'll take that out for now. So all I'm gonna do, Put a bit of bluey. In the squid. Like so. Get me hook length. Hook that through the bottom. Put that on. In the squid. Put that in the middle. Just wrap that on. Little squid jacket. Forgot to mention earlier, you will need some bait elastic. Um, I've been, I'm sure many of us have run out or forgot to take our bait elastic down the beach, and it is probably the biggest disaster of the session. So just wrap that on. 
as I say, I am not the best at presentation. I like to catch fish. I'm not worried about what the bay looks like too much as long as it's fairly streamlined. I like to ooh, I like to have smaller baits these days. I mean, you can put a big bait out on that, but I think for casting purposes, I prefer the smaller baits. Yep, and the more elastic, the better. That'll do. So that's pretty much it. Bit of bluey, bit of squid. Not best presentation in the world, but as I say, fish don't care. It's only the anchor. So you get the circle hook, wrap it around three times, slide that down to the bait. Twist, hook, pull. Done. Now, obviously, you can do this with a variety of different baits, but as I say, even if you get a couple made before you go down the beach, and then all you do is just wrap that up. Like so. So once you're finished, just wrap it up. That's what I do anyway. Just be careful of the hooks because obviously I, they are sharp. Like so. Get yourself some little bags. Chuck that in there. And done. One bait, ready to go, chuck that straight back in the freezer, and you're good. Obviously, I'm going to make a couple more now, but it's real simple. Um, just pre make your baits. I mean, short and sweet. Um, I thought I'd just pop on. I haven't been on YouTube for a little while, so I thought I would um, just do a little video. And uh, I know it's not rocket science and it's nothing super top secret, um, but just pre-making your baits can make your life a lot easier on the beach. And especially in the summer, you won't waste near as much bait um, as you normally would. If everybody, we all take far too much down the beach uh, and it just gets zapped by the sun in the summer and you have to throw it away. So it's waste. Pre-make your baits, go down with a few armed and ready to go. And yeah, save yourself some money. And a bit of time because I'm sure there's a lot of us sitting around doing bug all over Christmas. I'm going to fill that freeze up for, with loads of pre mades ready to go. Uh, and I don't have to worry about it when I get down there. So, yeah, um, if you want to see more from me in the new year, hit the like and subscribe. Uh, and we will see you back in 2021. I hope to bring you a lot more um, actual fishing content. I'm going to get everything set up ready to go for the new year. Hopefully get out over Christmas and do some filming as well. So 2021 is looking, looking like a good one. Um, wish you all the best. Have a great Christmas and Happy New Year.